Welcome back in this segment of our show brought to you by Stern AG, a national company that has thrived for more than a century. They've done that by hiring talented people and giving them the resources to succeed. And at Stern AG Knoxville, that means they've hired a team of sharp East Tennesseans who are determined to listen to your financial needs and then help you meet them over the long haul. Stern, AG, Knoxville, I really like the guys out there. I'm sure you will too. Give them a call to talk about your financial future. Okay, uh, lightning round very quick in this segment. Bob, the APR for Tennessee's football team just got its highest score ever in the nine years since the NCAA has been keeping track. Is that a big plus for Butch Jones or does anyone care? Uh, it's a big plus. Plus for Butch Jones, and nobody cares. <laughs> I, I will go with both of them. It goes with both of them. All right. Um, Mike Strange, the Lady Vols softball team will host number two seed Lipscomb in the regional finals today at 2 o'clock. Lady Vols the number one seed, of course. How does this team stack up to previous Lady Vols softball teams? It's a real good team, and it's a little bit different. A lot of Tennessee's great players have been, you know, the slap hitters. You know about that. These guys are bombers. Uh, Annie Aldretti, freshman catcher, if there were one and done in softball, she would be a lottery pick in, in the upcoming draft. She has hit 19 home runs, tied the school record already with games to play. Uh, th these guys are, ba are bashers. Okay. But there ain't no Monica Abbott. Uh, Ellen Renfro is the second best pitcher in program history. Right. Very quickly, Chuck, yes. the ACC will toy with a shorter shot clock in basketball this year. Should the NCAA follow suit and shorten the clock from 35 to 30 seconds? Yes, for men's basketball, sure. Isn't women's basketball already 30, I believe? Yes. So why is. not do that for men's? And I, I still say bring back the jump ball. I missed the jump ball, but yes on the shot clock. <laughs> okay. Vince, very quickly, Tennessee knocked off Florida 7-5 to five yesterday to clinch their first SEC baseball tournament bid since 2007. They faced a single elimination game with Vandy uh, Tuesday morning at 10.30 Eastern. If they win that, they get into the double elimination part of the tournament. Will they get past Vanderbilt Tuesday morning? Well, it's going to be tough. You don't know who Vanderbilt's going to pitch. And Vanderbilt has pitching depth, though, so it's going to be tough. Vandy's the number six RPI. Tennessee's still at 46. They still are trying to get Vanderbilt trying to get to a, a super regional national seed so they can host. Tennessee's trying to get in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2005. So I think the ballpark plays in their favor. It's a morning game, a 10.30 a.m. game. It's hard. So many unknown factors. They have a shot, but it just depends who Vandy pitches. Okay. Very good. When we come back, Philip Fulmer's role as former UT coach. How's he doing? We'll discuss that. Come on back on the Sports Source.